What's up, everybody? No kiss are back here from my review of the promotion starring Sean William Scott and John C. Riley, also co-starring Jenna Fisher. This is all about these two guys who are going for this promotion at work, tr trying to become the uh, the manager of a new grocery store that that's going to be built. I believe it's going to to be built, and they're basically going for it. Not really. This is all about Sean William Scott and John C. Riley. Basically just working in that grocery store while not fighting for most of the film. Basically what happens in this film is all about uh, is, jo is John C. Riley is a transfer from another grocery store. And there's a no holds bar battle apparently. But Sean, Sean William Scott is trying to buy this new house with his beautiful wife with his beautiful wife Jenna Fisher and he's lying to her throughout throughout the whole film basically saying hey I already got the job I need to put this money down or else we're going to lose this property and then we get to the sabotage and the fighting and everything but going into this I thought that this was going to be pretty much like a employee of the month type of situation them trying to screw each other over out of the job but in employee of the month they were also trying to win over the beautiful Jessica Simpson. This one, it's all right, okay? It's it's all right. I didn't hate this film. The performances were really, really good. I love Jenna Fisher and everything she does. There's a really hilarious moment involving a ship and a glass bottle that I, I rewound twice. Uh, well, I rewinded it once just to see it again. I enjoyed that scene so much. There's good romantic chemistry between Sean William Scott and Jenna Fisher. Jo John C. Riley, you you feel bad for him because there's misunderstandings here that go on, but the script just isn't anything special. There's other things, other plot points, and other scenes you could have done in here to make it a better comedy. There's moments here where you can see where they should go, but they don't go that route. They go with a less interesting, not funny route. A film overall that I'm going to not recommend to you. If you're a fan of these two actors and you haven't seen this film, definitely check this out. I'm, I'm going to say it was worth what I got it for. I got 20 bucks in trade, $20 in trade credit, and I put this towards it. And it would have cost me a dollar anyways because D DVDs at that store were a dollar. But the promotion, definitely not worth your time unless you're interested in it. I'm going to end up giving the promotion a C. A very low C, but a C nonetheless. Stay tuned because my last review for the pile is going to be Big Business. The film with Lily Tomlin and Bette Midler from 1988. But stay tuned because I have my review, my reviews for the two Hallmark movies and the GAC Family movies. I will be having my review up next for, of course, The Wedding Veil Expectations as well as Family History mysteries and then we will be having my review of the brand new GAC film actually it's not an original it is a premiere uh I can't I can't remember the name of it a royal in paradise I believe it's a royal in paradise with with Ryan and Fish as well as Reba's new lifetime film The Hammer also co-starring Melissa Peterman so I will tell you guys next time